Oh, well, that's fine if it helps. Okay, so uh, we have a ledger board in there across the back of the tub. And the tub edge will sit on that, and that will make the tub much, much more solid. And so uh, that is something that uh, should always go in on a stamped steel tub. Because they're not as rigid as a cast iron tub. Okay. So we are just about to put things in. We're still dealing with our overflow waste here. And uh, we'll get back to you when that's done. Okay, so we are ready to install this now. After a bit, we um, didn't like how low the pipe was there and you could connect it to the new tub but you had to pull up on it and we didn't want to do that so we put a uh, extension tube into the ABS pipe here which comes up to here and then the overflow waste kit comes down into the extension tube so now everything has a good um, amount of pipe going into each successive section of slip joint. So now these two lower ones are tight and we just need to set the uh, drain and screw that in and then put in the overflow. <coughs> Excuse me. And we will be set. That uh, overflow needs to be two inches off the ground. That roll tape is two inches and there's just enough that when it gets tilted into place it comes up just right where we need it so we're good to go. Okay. Um, then the next thing we're going to do too is we're going to put mortar on the top of the ledger there and that will fill the uneven voids because of the slopes of the floor. We'll uh, put um, some, about a half an inch of mortar thin, thin set on top of the ledger and then also under the tub edge on the sides and uh, then we will just let it set up for a day and not put any weight on it and in the meantime tomorrow we will tile the floors and not put any weight in the tub for two days let it get a good uh, set okay so let's uh, get things going No, it, it, once you got it warm, it, it's okay. 
Don't you need to get it thinner than that? Shove it in. You need some more dead weight. Or, or are you dead enough? Uh, did it go in all the way? Oh yeah, I got it right. Just up here. Up in the middle? Did you shim it from the outside or should I do that? Oh, we haven't shown yet. We'll do that. tilting the wrong way. We're going to have to shim it. Well, the level right there is right there. And it's tilting the wrong way. You know, it's almost level, but it's... I put the two shims under there. Well, that's good. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so now you're going to ooze some under the front. Okay, so now don't touch it. No, don't touch it. I won't touch nothing. Really? Get everything out of your way. Really? You have to see that. 
You had to throw that in, huh? Yeah, I did. Okay, so as you can see, we are still recording, but we have splidged, thickened, thin set mortar, the flex bond, all along the back rim of the tub there, and now the tub is set into mortar, and I guess Dave stole the level, but we have a slight slope in on both the front and the back, and we are level across the wall. So now what we're going to do is take some thin set mortar and we are going to just fill. We're going to take some more thin set and we're going to just fill the void under the tub. There's a half inch lip underneath there and that will rest on mortar and this will make a very solid tub installation. And then the tile will butt up to the tub and you will not even be able to see it. Okay. And basically all we're going to do for this, let me position the foam. And just get a little trowel of mortar. And that's all we're going to do is just hydraulically pressure it under the tub. And that is that. So we're just going to do that across the entire bottom of the tub. <coughs> and then the tub will be very solidly installed. Okay. Okay, and there you go. We have our mortar under the edge of the tub. So that will be one long support along the outside edge of the tub. And then we have our mortar in here. The phone's acting funny, I don't know why. But uh, so we have the uh, inside edge of the tub resting on mortar on top of the ledger. And that is going to make one nice, even support surface. And then the uh, tub is perfectly level and it has a slight slope in front and rear, which is perfect for having water drain into the tub, not out. Okay, uh, battery's going down, so we're going to uh, close this out. All right, so the unknown mechanic and I are busily putting his new tile floor down in the bathroom. There's the bathtub. Everything is coming together nicely. We're doing a uh, split cut around the toilet, just like that. Toilet goes over that. You'll never even know that there was a seam cut. Um, and then, the Iron Truck Camper Chef from Truck Camper Kitchen Stadium put together a quick lunch with uh, asparagus, asparagus, <laughs> and baby carrots and Italian herb chicken with uh, Tony Sachere's Cajun spice on it, an all-time favorite. So we are going to chow. Things are going good. And uh, one other thing to mention here, honorable mention, is there is the previously reviewed Harbor Freight tile saw, which is still working like a champ. Absolutely wonderful. Yep. Dave is extremely happy with that, or rather the unknown mechanic is extremely happy with it. Yes, the Chinese copied it right this time <laughs> You'll probably have to that. oh yeah so we have the floor installed <clears throat> we went with a pattern of full 
tile in the center on the center line and then two more folds and then two cuts and then over here we have a four and a four and then four folds that one around the toilet we had to cut in half and then round out for under the flange and no one will ever know it's there because the toilet goes over it and uh, so that will be grouted and then it will get uh, drilled and the toilet flange screwed down into the floor and then the toilet goes over it never see it but <clears throat> yeah it was an interesting floor all through this side here was about a 3 8 inch dip in the framing there was a high point here and a low point there so we had to shim about uh, 3 eighths of an inch under some of these tiles to get a flat floor and everything is working out nice now we have a straight edge and it's a flat straight edge all the way across the floor can't beat that and so there you go so tomorrow we will start on the tub put in the um, Duroc on the walls there and then start tiling actually we need to uh, paint seal that um, wallboard up above so anyway we'll be on it okay um, keep watching for more updates and as you see we mortared the ledger and the front bottom edge of the tub in place and it is rock solid no tilt or anything and the tile comes up against the tub and covers the mortar edge underneath so it worked out great okay